Hey guys, it is top five time, which means I get to tell you five massive things that happened in gaming this week. Well, I've got four massive things and one story involving ice cream, but trust me, it's worth it. Sony's game streaming service, PlayStation Now, could be set to get a whole lot better with the inclusion of PS1, PS2 and PS4 titles. Although VP of Sony Network Entertainment Eric Lempe has said that the beta is going tremendously well on the PS4 so far, gamers have been skeptical due to the fact that it only offers PS3 games and the rental prices can get as high as $49.99 for a rental game. Yeah, Lempe has suggested that alongside the good chance they'll start including games from other PlayStation platforms, we could also see the controversial pricing models altered. The service is also now in open beta on the PS3 as well as the PS4, and the 150 odd PlayStation Now titles are integrated into the PlayStation Store. Destiny's first raid launched this week and one clever fire team defeated it in just under 11 hours. The six-player raid called Vault of Glass was described by Bungie as their most elaborate mission ever created. For any Destiny fans eyeing off the raid, you will have to be level 26 to access it. And be sure to bring along five friends with you since it doesn't support matchmaking. Prime Guard wrapped up the raid in 10 hours and 40 minutes and must have done a damn good job, as Bungie have said that Vault of Glass offers up a considerable challenge. This week, Microsoft bought Minecraft creator Mojang for $2.5 billion, and that's pretty much all anybody's been talking about, so here's the lowdown. The rumored acquisition went through as predicted, and while fans puzzled over why Mojang would make the switch from being happily independent to accepting a buyout, Minecraft creator Notch cleared some things up. In a lengthy blog post, he explained that he wanted to create small indie projects and wasn't prepared for what Minecraft became. He said he didn't want to be a symbol or an entrepreneur, and after Minecraft's huge success, selling off the company made sense for him. GTA 5 for PC was officially delayed over the last week, and Rockstar have come out to explain why. Rockstar says they're super glad that everyone is so keen to play the game on PC, but in their words, the game requires a little more development time in order to ensure that it is as amazing and polished as possible. The PC version is now due on January 27, while the versions for Xbox One and PS4 are going to land on November 18. Okay dudes, it's ice cream story time, and how exactly can you get your hands on some? Well, it's by trading in your violent games at California's Marin County. The Marin County Independent Journal has reported that next month you can take your evil toy guns and violent video games and trade them in for sweet, sweet Ben & Jerry's ice cream. The program is being run by District Attorney Ed Barbarian, who ran a similar buyback program trading real guns for actual money last year. The ice cream offer is on the table every Saturday in October, and the last one was pretty successful, so you might want to round up any violent stuff you don't want before all the ice cream get scooped up, or the deal runs cold, or a different ice cream bun. As for your question of the day, let me know which of your violent games you would trade for ice cream, or if no amount of ice cream could make you part with your games. Not even chocolate chip cookie dough, which is the best one. This week on site, check out three great Kickstarter games you can play right now on The Gist. We tuck into Paperbound on the lobby and Alien Isolation scares the crap out of Danny and Ryan. That is it from me this week. As always, have yourself a wonderful weekend and I will catch you again on Monday.